NASA wants to protect us from a planet-destroying catastrophe and has crashed a probe into an asteroid. But there's one thing about it that's completely inexplicable and has left NASA scientists baffled. In a statement, it says, something unknown is at work here. What's going on? And why will this mystery decide the fate of our planet? Make sure to stick around until the end, because this story is absolutely insane. Welcome, everyone. Today we're talking about asteroids, planetary defense, and astronomical mysteries. The perfect combo for an Astro Tim video. If you like that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Subscribing is completely free. You'll never miss a video again, and it really helps me out. And you might hear it, my nose is totally stuffed up. I'm a little sick, but I still wanted to present this exciting topic for you in this video. If you want to honor this, please leave a like, a thumbs up. Maybe we'll get 5,000 thumbs up. That would make me very happy. Maybe I'll get better faster. No idea. So, now to the topic. Today we're looking at a mission that was actually celebrated as a great success, but whose aftermath took researchers completely by surprise. In September 2022, NASA did something that sounds like science fiction. It deliberately crashed a space probe into an asteroid. The DART mission was intended to prove that we humans are capable of changing the trajectory of a celestial body. This is a capability that could one day save us from a catastrophic impact. So that we don't have to send Bruce Willis up there with a nuclear bomb. The asteroid Dimorphos, about the size of the Great Pyramid of Giza, was struck by the DART probe on September 27, 2022, at 1.14 a.m. German time. The mission was a complete success. The asteroid was indeed deflected from its original trajectory, but what happened next was something no one had anticipated. The Italian companion probe Ligia Cube, which had a front row seat to the whole spectacle, took pictures that have now been analyzed in detail and have amazed even NASA professionals. That's because the researchers discovered something completely unexpected in these images. 104 massive chunks of rock that were hurled away from the asteroid, like projectiles at speeds of up to 180 18 miles per hour. Tony Farnham of the University of Maryland, lead author of the new study, says, We managed to deflect an asteroid to move it out of its orbit. Our research shows that the direct impact of the DART spacecraft caused this change, but the ejected chunks of rock provided an additional boost that was almost as large. And this is where things get really crazy. These ejected chunks ranged in size from 0.2 to 3.6 meters. Imagine a compact car hurtling through space at 190 kilometers per hour. But the shocking part wasn't just their size and speed, but especially how they were distributed in space. We saw that the rocks weren't scattered randomly in space. Instead, they were clustered into two quite distinct groups with material missing elsewhere, which means that something unknown is at work here explains Tony Farnham. Something unknown at work. Those are words that fill every scientist with both fear and excitement at the same time. And words that basically write the title of a YouTube video all by themselves. When experts with decades of experience say they don't understand what happened, things usually get exciting. The researchers have developed a theory about what might have happened and what unknown forces might be at work. Presumably, the DART probe's expansive solar panels struck two large rocks on the asteroid shortly before the main impact. These rocks have even been given names. They are called Atabak and Bodron. Sounds like two characters from a fantasy novel, but they're actually the culprits responsible for the chaos. Jessica Sunshine, one of the researchers involved and a professor of astronomy and geology, explains. DART's solar panels probably hit two large boulders on the asteroid which have been named Atabak and Bodron. Evidence suggests that the southern cluster of ejected material is likely to consist of fragments from Atabak, a boulder with a radius of 3.3 meters. But why is that a problem? Quite simply, the chunks that were thrown off gave the asteroid an extra push. And not in the direction the NASA probe was flying, but perpendicular to it. This means that Dimorphos was not only deflected, but could also start to tumble and rotate. Imagine you're playing pool and you hit the the cue ball, normally you would expect it to roll in a certain direction. But in this cosmic game of billiards, the whole table suddenly exploded and the balls are flying in all directions. Does the comparison make any sense? No one really knows. This might sound like a very theoretical scientific puzzle, but the consequences are serious, because this mission was a test run in case a dangerous asteroid really does head toward Earth. And if we don't take all the factors into account, our rescue missions could backfire, whether Bruce Willis is involved or not. 
What's especially interesting is the comparison with another NASA mission. Jessica Sunshine has actually been involved in a collision like this before, during the Deep Impact mission when a probe crashed into a comet. And the difference couldn't be greater. Deep Impact hit a surface that consisted mainly of very small uniform particles, so the ejected material was relatively smooth and continuous, she explains. And here we see that DART hit a surface that was rocky and full of large boulders, which led to chaotic and filamentary structures in its ejection patterns. This shows us that every celestial body reacts differently. Some are like a sandbox. When you hit it, the sand flies away evenly. Others are like a pile of gravel. The stones go flying all over the place. And here comes the truly frightening part. The rocks that were flung away generated more than three times as much momentum as the dart probe itself. It's like innocently ramming a nut into the ice, and suddenly a whole avalanche breaks loose with many times more energy. This also means that the asteroid was not only deflected, but its orbit could be tilted to some degree. That may sound like little, but in space, even the smallest changes can have a big impact. Dimorphos could now be tumbling through space like a battered boxer. The good news is that Dimorphos is not a threat to Earth. It is the small companion of the larger asteroid Didymos, and the entire system is flying past us at a safe distance. So we could test and learn without risk. What does that mean for the future? If a killer asteroid really does come our way at some point and we only have one attempt to deflect it, we would need to know exactly what will happen. Fortunately, help is on the way. In 2026, the European HERA mission will arrive at Dimorphos and investigate the effects of the collision on site. Then we will finally understand what really happened there. Tony Farnham sums up the significance perfectly. If an asteroid were hurtling towards us and we knew we had to move it by a certain amount to prevent it from hitting Earth, then all these subtleties would be very, very important. This discovery once again shows us how much we still have to learn about our universe. Even in what seems like a simple collision between a probe and an asteroid, things happen that we can't predict. I'll keep you updated on any further findings from the data mission. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel now, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up so we can hit 5,000 likes. And now, let's turn our attention to another Big Bang. This time, on Earth. There was a nuclear bomb explosion right in the middle of the ocean, and no one knows who was responsible. No joke, this crazy story is real. Which country would secretly test a nuclear bomb in the sea? Find out everything about this story in the video shown at the top right. It's super exciting, so you shouldn't miss clicking it. And if you still can't get enough of space and science, click below on the right. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.